Greg nil nil, fair result in the end. Yeah, I think so. I think that's the uh, the common thought around around here, a spot on the gantry. Um, good game for a nil nil. Good game could have gone either way. Both teams had moments in the game that they'd be really pleased with. Other times in the game, probably not quite so, so much. But that gives you as an exciting nil nil as you as you probably can get. Local derby, a lot at stake for both sides. And I think at the end of it, both managers will be pleased there. They haven't they haven't lost the game. Uh, I'm probably disappointed that they haven't nicked it. Two great chances for Sullivan de Cara and, and two fine saves from the keeper, Constantopoulos. I think the first one was unbelievable. I, I mean, it looks like it's over the line. He's actually clawed it back, you know, just before it's crossed the line. And, you know, de Cara, he gives you absolute honesty and, 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 and genuine work ethic and almost earns his rewards for, for his play. Then the one at the end, you know, with the, the, after the sending off, you think... He, he, he's, he's almost broke the line he's going to score keeper spreads himself hits his legs and goes away and, and, and saves his side but you know it's really tough on, on Leeds but I thought they defended really well and were probably a bit fortunate early on in the second half not to concede a goal in the first place Yeah Burr had a, a chance you look at the attacking threat and then they bring Adoma and Nugent on off the bench it was really the haves and the have nots wasn't it? Yeah I mean they've got that ability to, to bring players on that can game change I thought Adoma looked really sharp put Charlie you know, on the back foot and kept him defending rather than venturing forward. Uh, Nugent's got a goal in him, proven record, so they're genuine threats and you know, you, you can see why they're up and around it. Probably not scoring as many goals as they'd want uh, in, from their point of view, but uh, certainly got changes in a plenty to, to do something about it and rotate the team and, and freshen things up if they need to. After the defeat to Forest last time here, that was a much improved performance, wasn't it? Yeah. Fans, I think, would be delighted with that. You know, you look at the sides on paper, that really it's a mismatch in terms of finances involved in putting the teams together. But if you were looking at that as a neutral, you wouldn't be able to tell who was the, the rich and who was the poorer, should we say. Not poor, poorer. Good game, evenly balanced. Again, could have gone either way, but um, certainly no no difference in sides' abilities on the, on the night for me. And a great atmosphere in the ground and the referee letting a few tackles go in as well. It all added to the occasion, didn't it? Yeah, you had to almost half kill somebody to get a yellow card and Ben Gibson did that twice, didn't he? You know, no complaints there, two stupid challenges, really rash, second one especially when he's got a yellow card. But yeah, the referee let things go and um, it all adds up to, to fast and fluent and, you know, non-stop stuff's what we want to see. Nice to see Alex Moore back as well. Yeah, he, he gets into good positions. I thought he looked good when he came on and a little bit unfortunate a couple of times. Odd pass didn't quite get to him. Then when it did, it blocks were made in front of him. But certainly pleased to see him back, and uh, you know he gives Leeds another dimension and, and definitely an attacking threat, scoring threat, should I say, from midfield. And defensively today, it was obviously a clean sheet against a good attacking threat. What did you make of that? I think that's what they have to they have to take the the, the biggest positive out of is that they've kept Jordan Rhodes, Albert Adoma, Stuani, uh, 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 Nugent all off the score sheet all resigned to you know the odd chance to Suani to be fair thought he was very poor should have, should have scored and uh, no surprise to see him taken off but the defensively Leeds are up against as good as it gets in terms of what was starting and, and the players they could bring on kept the, the, the selves really you know tied in rode the luck a little bit but they deserved that Diego Arga man of the match any arguments with that? don't think so terrific energy legs kept the ball moving plays good positive side foot safe passes but with 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 pace and uh, breaks the game up nicely you know I thought it was a really really decent showing from him and Watford at the weekend it's going to take a similar kind of effort again isn't it to get anything there no take a better effort I think they've got a little bit more pace that will be what might what will be the, the Leeds can probably afford to defend a little bit deeper because of the pace that Watford have got through the side but at least as good as they've defended tonight will at least be required on Saturday still might not be good enough but they have got that attacking threat where they might just nick a goal and then they're resolute aren't they and they do defend very very well so FA Cup you never know